Congratulations on your brand new PI-1000 simulator. Today I'm going to be going over how uh, you'll receive it, how you'll unpackage it, and how you'll assemble it so you can go ahead and start flying. Once you receive your package, make sure to inspect uh, all around it. Uh, check the damage indicators. Make sure there's no damage. If there is damage uh, here in red or here on the tip there is blue. This is what it would look like if there is no damage. Uh, also check um, visible damage uh, and note any of that on the bill of lading. Uh, you can contact us afterwards and we'll make sure uh, that gets resolved. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and take the box off and show you what you'll receive uh, after you check for damages, uh, we're going to remove uh, all of the nails that are along the bottom edge as well as remove the tape uh, on the top and sides. And now Your simulator is going to be shrink wrapped uh, and have bubble wrap different um, packaging and you're going to go ahead and remove that, remove the boxes, open everything up, and once you have all of your devices and everything separated, you can start assembling the sim. Once you've unpacked the sim, you'll take all the boxes off and you can unpackage those as well. Uh, once you have all the parts, we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. This is going to require a few set of hands, so see if you can get an uh, extra set of hands to help you. We're gonna go ahead and move over here, uh, start by raising uh, this monitor bracket so we can set up the side monitors. that there are gonna be these holes. You're going to take these pins that you will receive and you're going to go ahead and place them straight through there. It might take a little effort. Uh, and then you can let go and the, pol the poles won't fall. Once the center monitor bracket's up, you're gonna go ahead and go to the bag with all these screws. Uh, it's the same where the pins were. We're gonna go ahead and grab our monitor and mount it here. Go ahead and have someone hold the monitor while you go ahead and put the four screws in the back. Went ahead and grabbed our side monitor here. You'll notice that there are gonna be three slots. You'll line them with these three slots and go ahead and use the bolts and nuts in that bag. Uh, here, we'll go ahead and line this up. Once you have all the monitors on, uh, we're gonna go ahead and align them. So what you're gonna do is you'll just loosen the screws and the bolts, uh, push them a little, and then tighten them back down. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the uh, side MIMO monitor on here. It's going to have these two thumb screws, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and just tighten them down here. Monitor, the instructor station. You're going to go ahead, uh, this will go ahead and slide right over here. Uh, it might take a little bit of maneuvering. It should just slide right on. You'll go ahead and tighten this down. And now you can move it to a position that's comfortable. Once you have all the monitors on and everything's set up, we're gonna go ahead and head around back. All these cables are gonna be undone. So we're gonna have to plug them in. Each one's going to have numbers uh, that correspond on the computer. We'll head, go over to the monitor. Uh, the, for an example, the 15s gonna go here with 15, the 16's gonna go here with the 16. Uh, you will receive uh, some extra Velcro and extra zip ties. If you need to, say, zip tie some wires or Velcro any accessories, go ahead and you can do that now. The Sim's also gonna include an iPad mount holder. Uh, it can, goes on the side here, it's just tightened here. You can go ahead and use your iPad with the Sim for four flight or Garmin Pilot or the Suck. Once everything's plugged in, go ahead and plug the main power that comes out the back into the wall and we'll go down here to our battery backup. We're gonna hold it until we hear one beep and now the Sim will start up. Just be aware, before powering it up, you are gonna make sure that this power for the control loaded yoke is on, as well as the key here for the pro panel is in the on position. Uh, then you'll wait for everything to boot up, 
prepared will go to your home airport. The instructor monitor will go ahead and load that software. Once all that's running, you can go ahead and ju jump in the pilot scene and go ahead and start flying. Now for proper shutdown procedure, you're gonna go ahead and go to your instructor monitor, press the uh, unpause button. You do not want it frozen. Now you're gonna go ahead and shut down the computer as you normally would. Shut down. Wait for the computer to fully shut off and then you will go ahead and come back down here to the battery backup. And now hold it. You will hear two beeps and that means it will turn off. Once that's done, uh, the sim is turned off and you can start it up whenever you'd like. Hopefully this video helped you to get your simulator all up and running. If you have any issues during this process or afterwards, go ahead and contact us. You can go to our website, support.flyelite.com. Our number is there. You can submit a ticket and we'll be glad to help you. And hopefully you're able to enjoy your PI-1000.